Nice. Thank you. Obviously, we're not going to talk all the way until 10 p.m. Yeah, you know. I don't know if I can do that, but we envision uh, platforms to be like because right now in this space, everyone here we are all interested in the same topic, which is say for example today's entrepreneurship, and that's why we gave your name text as well. So how we envision it is after the talk, if you guys want to network, want to talk to each other, hey, what are you doing now? You know, oh, Ooh. I see that you're doing this, I'm doing that. We envision it to be that way as well. Last. So for today, I'll be moderating the talk. Um, and Isaac will be... Um, you should still be part of it. Like, I'll still be talking, like, obviously, yeah. but Isaac will be our main speaker today. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Coffee Break, who also, um, you know, fueled today's uh, platform session. Coffee Break, oh boy! Yes, thank you Boom. so much for coming. You should try the toast. The toast is... Oh, yeah. Then we, we thought, hey, let's do this and no market research, nothing. Mm. We just had this burning passion for vintage and we were just like, hey, why don't we do like a brick and mortar like store, la? you mm. know, which was, you know, I'm... The older generation was like, what the hell are you guys doing? Like, right. you guys are like, you know, greenhorns. You guys don't know the market. And you want to do like a brick and mortar. Y'all, why don't you all start like online? Like, you know, but we felt that I think above, you know, clothing itself, what we really truly enjoyed was interacting with people, mm. you know, and, and especially if let's say like, you know, vintage is a new market in Singapore, right? Or anything new. And then you start online. Yeah, okay, good. You can, you can have like banging, banger, like marketing and stuff like that. But without that this, right, I feel like it's it's a little like tough. La. I mean, that was in our opinion. La. That's why we wanted a, a space so we could like emphasize on this. So mm. this is pretty much in a nutshell. Mm. A lot of people were curious. They would say things like, oh, you guys sold on Carousel before, right? You, I mean, you guys mm. do this before, right? That's why you started the store. But the reality is we just came in, like he said, doing this, yeah. like blind. We, we, are, we were not business students. Yeah. No Carousel, no Instagram, so, no nothing. Yeah. No. So I think when it, be, when it came to solving issues like how do we do um, accounting, we just open up Excel and then we just randomly start putting in formulas, like the most basic, you know, the sum, then bracket of this, like that was the max that we can do now. So that's the max that we can do. Mm. Any problem that we had, I think we more or less just faced it up front. Like yeah. say for example, if uh, we needed air cons, where were, go where were we going to look? We were just going to go on like carousel and look for people who could install air cons. Oh, then they will come and they'll be like, oh, this is not going to work, you need to do this. So then we just follow mm. our lead. Like um, we didn't have like experts telling us like, oh, uh, these pipes you can get from where, from where, from where. No, we just had to figure it out on our own. You know, people always think like, uh, you know, if you start your own business, you should have the, all the answers. But the reality is you don't have any answers at mm. all. And that's why you're doing your own thing. But there are some things about being an entrepreneur, obviously, that don't get talked about uh, enough. I'm going to list a few things and then mm. maybe you can shed you know, 100%, 100%, light on yeah. them. So one thing, um, number one, Loneliness. Wow, oh, fucking lonely. Yeah. <laughs> Entrepreneurship can be a lonely, lonely journey as you are often the only one making decisions and bearing the weight lonely, of yeah. responsibility. What, do, what can you say about that? Usually when people want to start a business, like, usually it's either you are very interested in something you want to share with the world or you have a problem to solve or whatnot, right? Usually that's the case. But then when you step into it, right, when you really like dip your toes into it, you start to realise, right, actually you're doing a lot more than the things that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. Like a lot more. I think that's the reality that people don't really see until you're in it. But uh, when it comes to loneliness, I feel like not many people understand what you're doing, you know, and, and again, they don't have to. Lah. I mean, right, you chose this life, right? sacrifices as well. I think like especially in the beginning it was really just the both of us running a store right and there were many things that people couldn't see like say for example if we fell sick we worked seven days a week yeah. at that point of time and then after that we decided oh yeah maybe we need to have a break so then we would break on Wednesdays but we would still come back to the store and continue to do other things like housekeeping or inventory and stuff like that but the trouble would be like if one of us fell sick, mm. I think I remember one time, I think you were not present and then I was alone in the store and then I think I had a backache. Mm -hmm. And then, at, I don't know if any of you all remember, in 2018, 2019, we would still do like, at the end of the day, we would do like a pen of what was going to come out the next day. Yeah, we, put it, we put it on the floor, yeah. then we, we did like, yeah. the, then and we had the music. Yeah, and that was very time consuming because you would end at 7.30 yeah. and then you would lay it out and it's like 7.45, 7.50, then you... 
like that, oh, then like that. Oh, then it's already like 8 o'clock, then like, eh, the take like stupid, then the music like not nice, then you take again like that. It's like 8.15 already, then you, you're supposed to meet your friend for dinner. Mm. And I'm like, what? is open at 8.30, right? And then I remember that time I had back ache. Mm. And then he happened to look at the CCTV. Yes! Yeah, wow, that one damn heartbreaking, <laughs> sir. I was... I saw the CCTV. No, that one really was quite sad. It was, was really quite I sad. I think... Oh my god, now I also want to cry. I think I was sitting here yeah. and just crying because my back was so painful. Like, I think I ticked you or something. Lah. But I was alone. I was like, no, I must do this. I like, he's sick also. Then I... We gotta put this out. So then we did that. And then he saw the CCTV. Then he called me, sir. Why are you crying? Okay, I mean, I, was, I didn't sound like that. I was more like concerned, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but so these are all the things that this is the first time we're talking about it. But these are all mm. the things nobody will see and nobody will ask you about it. Nobody's gonna ask you when's the last time you take to. Do you cry about your business yes, today? Yeah. Nobody's gonna ask that. Nobody will ask that. So, yeah. Yeah. and then um, how about risk? Um, mm. Starting a business involves taking on a significant amount of financial and personal risk. Right. We weren't born with a silver spoon. Like we were not. Like you know, we we're not made for money. <laughs> A little bit back, sorry, I think even during like NS days, right? Mm. Um, I mean, we were, we were very close. Mm. And so, <laughs> yeah, we were together last time. Anyways, <laughs> but, uh, what a prank. <laughs> but no one asked, yeah. But okay, anyway, so during, so during, um, during NS days, right? Like, we had this like fund. Mm. It's called the ORD fund. Mm -hmm. Whatever we're saving the money for, nothing. We, we just put money aside. Yeah. Right? So it, it was this envelope, we wrote ORD fund, then my ORD did. Then I can receive this envelope. So every time I get my pay and whatnot, I'll just put inside this envelope. FJ will keep it. You I'll will withdraw, right? Yeah, 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 I'll withdraw. Last time, still withdraw. <laughs> no pay now. But so it's a physical one. So it really shows, right? You know, your accumulation at the end of the day. So, okay, that was that. But even at the end of uh, NS, it wasn't, it wasn't like sure that we're going to open a store. It wasn't even in our heads. Right? We were just saving it for something, right? And yeah, the risk was, um, yeah, you could lose anything at every at any time. La. Like, mm. that, that's really the risk. And I mean, but this is our own money, la, so I think we are, we, are, we are fine with it, right? Um, but had you taken out a loan? Yeah, 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 had you taken out a loan and stuff like that? I think whatever, I mean, whatever you're like, mm, whatever money you can you can get for yourself or like you try to sell all your stuff and, and you know, just, just, just start small. Don't, don't, don't go so like, so crazy unless it's a very very good idea like you think yeah but i think that that's really the the initial risk mm. but if you're talking about risk also right a lot i think a lot of people fear people's opinions mm. right i think a lot of us is like we don't dare to start because we think of oh, we think people might say ah later see i knew you will fail i knew you will fail then you like you don't dare to start right but i think that's one thing that um yeah it's not yeah it's not real la. all these all these things are not real i, I always like to say this like you have to live and die by your own like convictions Right, your successes and your failures, right, are your are yours alone. Like, like that's that. You know, like it's like Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to, how else to say it, but like just just own it. Once you are comfortable with your wins and your losses, right? Do your indestructibles, yeah. Like no one can tell you otherwise. Right? Yeah, so you lose, you lose, uh. never mind. You try again. Uh. But if cannot then never mind. So yeah, I think I think that's the risk part. Yeah people's opinions and, and obviously financial wise lah. Mm. Yeah. Do you have any interesting stories you want to share at this point of time? When we first opened Loop Gums in 2018, right, there was a young boy, he came by and he was sec 2 at that time. He was very small, very young. Then he was like, ah, suck here, right? I want to buy some stuff. Then he bought a few things here and there and since his first visit, he would still always come back again and um, whether it was to buy something or to you know, chat with us lah. And I remember there was one time he brought a girl and they were on a date and he was trying to like impress her. Yeah, and then love. she picked out a shirt and he was gonna pay for her. Yeah, she was like, but, bro! But bro. he had to split his payment because he didn't have enough cash. So he did like a 32 in like nets and then the $3 in like flash pay. So like, wow, it was just like, okay, wow, my small bro now want to date girls and like date people, want to like buy stuff for them, cool. So then I, we saw his growth. After that, um, he would come by, he would, he was sec 3, sec, sec 3, sec 4, he was into music. He wanted to be the next Jimi Hendrix, he brought his guitar here, he had a small amp. I don't, mm. oh no, he didn't have an amp, but he had his yeah. electric guitar and he wanted to show us what he could do. Then he was saying like, I want to... I want to do music next time, but I, I don't know how to start and I don't know where to learn. Mm -hmm. But So I'm just learning on YouTube, lah, but I want to have a teacher. So I remember that phase of his life. Now, he is, um, five years on, he is in poly, year two? two? Yeah, I think he's a tertiary yeah. education. Yeah. Yeah. He's a 
part timer at Food Locker. Like when he came here, he was so young, he couldn't even part time anywhere. But now he's a part timer at Food Locker. And I remember the other day I was working here. This is the main point. This is the main the, point. The closing lah. She tell me I cracked. I was closing, then him and his friend, they were here just hanging out, talking to us lah. Then he said like, you know, I he told me like, FJ, I really like, really appreciate what you all do here at Luke Gums because every time I work at Food Locker, I think about how I felt when you all talked to me and how you all treated me and I try to do that the same way to my customers. Like, I try to make them feel the same way as well. So I just, I'm just very thankful that I get to grow up with you all. Then I was just like, wow, yes. okay, that's so nice. I said like, you know, I, I hope that wherever it is that we go, that you'll always be there with us. Lah. Like no matter whether he, next time, you know, he grow older, get married or whatever, do his yeah, own music crash. thing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I heard a sniffle <laughs> there, like, eh? I was like, eh? Nah, don't dare look. I look through my hair, you know, like, it's like, eh? No way, no way. So that was very nice. That was very nice. Help yourself to one more drink, bro. <laughs> yeah, so that was really nice to hear. Yes, like, yeah. that we made an impact. And this is just one person who was willing to come out and tell us about it. So I really hope that, like, there would be so much other stories out yeah. there like this that haven't, that they never tell us. Like. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Mm -hmm. Q&A time. Yes. Um, boom, boom, boom. Mary, Wait. let's go. What's your favourite small win of your whole, like, years here? Small win. Oh, I know, I know. This one oh. I know. Wow, very good question. Help yourself with another drink. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this one I know is uh, like, I think, like, I mean, I speak for both of us, love. Is that. Um, you do? I mean, this one also, this one also, oh. I feel like, I feel like. Because we are of. of age. Should I keep saying, like, do like them old, but like, we are much older than our, our general audience, right? We started when we were 26. Now we are like turning 31. And. To be honest, if you really look at it, right, if we just gone our own merry way in our own life, right, just pursuing whatever we are pursuing, go to Japan or whatnot, we would have never, never meet any of you guys. Like all our friends, the the 14-year-old Jazz or like, dude, Azri, Fira, Travis, Vic, we would never have met any of them. And, and I think much more so the customers, you know, all these bonds, customers turn friends, we've never met them. I think every day, yeah, like, like to me, I, I think I treasure a lot, like, you know, I treasure like this kind of like bonds and relationships a lot. And that, that's, that's my, my small win, like, every day. Like if I, I'm able to connect with someone, even if it's like a tourist, you know, but in that moment, wow, we like, hey, vibes are broke, you sign go to Japan, I'll find you, man. Yeah, then done. For me, it's like solid. So that's, that's my small win. Like. I would never get to meet all of them. Your, your small my win? My small win is being able to wake up at 11, leave at <laughs> 11.30 and come at 12. Hey, what you point me? How many people can say that? Really, really. How many people can say that they can wake up at 11? I leave house at 11.30. I reach at 12. The store still haven't opened. I'm early. So, <laughs> small win, right? You say small win. That's my small win. Actually, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think this, this is a bit dramatic fact because there are days that we can't come early, you also don't. Yeah. But okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There are days that we come early. Like. I mean, especially in the first two years, we would be here like nine and then we would like do stuff and be like, shit, it's 12. Yeah. But now we can wake up early. Because... Not really, I yeah. so we wake up early. Yeah, because he <laughs> runs and stuff. Like, so. With that, thank you so much for coming to today's platform. Thank you so much. Um, we, we are... Hope, we yeah, hope you all enjoy. Yeah, we really hope you guys enjoy yourself. Or at least, you know, have some takeaways. Um, mm. If there are any questions that you might have, but you were too shy to ask, you can always come to us directly or you can drop us a DM. Um, and we'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions. Even if it's like sensitive stuff, like, you know, I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I don't know lah. Just whatever you all feel like you all can ask. Okay? Yeah. You can, can do the... You can point do five us. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah come on. I don't know, I might have both things. Okay, okay. Okay, one, two, three. We have this like secret wish, right? That next time platforms will be so huge that maybe a venue wants to sponsor us a huge space. Yeah, maybe oh, even wow. explain. And then y'all can tell people I went to the very first platform. Yes, okay, y'all must remember this day, okay? Yeah, we will make it. Uh, uh, happen. Thanks. Thanks guys. Thank Thanks, you so much man. for coming. Thank you. Thank you.